So let me get right to the point. Phoenix International Raceway may be the prettiest setting in NASCAR, but it'll bite you in a hurry if you don't watch out. 43 drivers go 200 laps tonight, hoping to scare off the competition and roll into victory lane. <laughs> All right, enough of the desert jokes here. Uh, this track opened its doors in 1964. It has become a favorite stop of NASCAR drivers and fans. And tonight, the seventh race of the nationwide series season goes green shortly. A quick 200 lap sprint from green to checker. Let's go trackside for the opening ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats as the Trevor Brown Jr. ROTC presents our nation's colors. And now, please welcome Phoenix International Raceway Chaplain Ken Bowers as he offers tonight's invocation. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us one more time to gather at our beloved Phoenix International Raceway for a night of NASCAR racing. You bless us in so many ways, but one wonderful realization is that we may not know what tomorrow holds, but we know you hold tomorrow. With that assurance, we ask for a safe race tonight, and we pray that you will accept our thanks for all these things, as it is in your name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Please welcome 50 551 entertainment recording artist Aaron Anderson with our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. In the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for oh, the land of the free and the Luke Air Force Base just north of the track here at Phoenix International Raceway, the flyover from the 310th Fighter Squadron there. So time for the drivers to climb aboard, buckle in, and get ready to go. 200 laps on the fast mile in the desert southwest of Phoenix. The NASCAR Nationwide Series fires them up next. NASCAR Nationwide Series at Phoenix International Raceway. Brought to you by Nationwide Insurance, official auto insurance partner of NASCAR. And the auto parts experts at AutoZone. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Keep going, Hell yeah. Just keep on digging. Move forward. Hell yeah. Digging. On three. Let's go. Digging. Digging. All right. One, two, two three. three. Digging! digging. Now we're digging the weather tonight here in Phoenix. Chamber of Commerce weather. Temperature reached the mid-70s late this afternoon, and as the sun sets during the race, it'll drop to the mid to upper 60s. Then a decent little breeze blowing across uh, the racetrack from turns two to turn four as well. Something else for the drivers to contend with as the race begins. Now, DJ and Andy's excellent adventure from outside turn two, around the back of the racetrack, across to the front stretch, through the no-drive zone for golf carts, and up the 200 or so steps from the bottom of the grandstand to the 
the booth all in record time, we hope. <laughs> we join them now, hopefully. And the only man not sweating and out of breath, <laughs> Dr. Jerry Punch. Come on, Doc. Hey, hey thanks, Alan. Uh, folks, glad to have you with us. And guys, glad to have you up here. Good job. We made it. Yeah. That's hard on the old guy, though. We're going to have to find a different way. I know it is. Oh, you're talking about... Me. Oh, I heard about me. <laughs> Imagine in the early years when the prospectors had to cross the whole desert with no golf cart. <laughs> I don't know how they did it. Yeah, God bless them. <laughs> let's talk about how technically challenging this racetrack is. Over the years we talk about it. Let's break it down, though. DJ drivers say turn one. It, it drives like a short track, but breaks like a road course. What do they mean? Maybe that's why I never got around here good. I was confused. <laughs> now, it is the, one of the fastest part of the racetrack and the highest braking point on the racetrack. But you have to be careful to get on the brake and then off of it. You have to carry speed through the center of the corner. Corner if you're going to have any exit speed off of turn two and down the back straightaway. And Andy, you exit turn two for the back straightaway, which is uh, not a straightaway. That's the problem. <laughs> it's not straight. <laughs> and this track is so challenging and the turns are so different. You really have to decide as a crew chief which end of the racetrack you want your car to handle the best on. I've always picked three and four. To me, it seemed like if you can carry speed through there and off that corner and down the straightaway that you would have a better car than you would if you tried to concentrate on the other side. For a one mile oval, you got a long way to go down turn three and around turn four. And DJ, when you finally get out of turn four to the front straightaway, there's no room. Yeah, you would think that'd be easy. Getting off of turn four, you need all of the racetrack. And then all of a sudden, you come down a front straightaway that is very narrow. If anything should happen there, you're going to have a hard time avoiding it. That's why we see, you know, wondering why these guys wreck on the racetrack. Well, there's really, on the straightaway, I mean, there's really not a lot of room there to avoid anything. And, folks, that's just the racetrack itself. Now, to add to the racetrack challenge, about halfway through, they're going to turn the sun off, which means it's going to get dark tonight. And, guys, a whole different set of challenges. Yeah, just the challenges of the driver being able to see. That's the first thing. And they'll, they're going to have to deal with that. We heard Carl Edwards say just a second ago how he was kind of worried about it. It looks like the sun's going to be down enough that that won't be as big a problem as he was anticipating. The other thing is, is the track is really going to change. That temperature is going to change, and it changes the setup a lot on these cars. It will change the setup as the sun will set over that grandstand. And in spite of the challenges of this racetrack, we've got a star-studded field over half the former winners, all three multiple winners in tonight's field, Bush, Edwards, and Biffle. Let's go trackside. Race fans, it's time for those most famous words in motorsports. Here to give the command, please welcome Bash's Vice President of Sales and Merchandising, Robert Ortiz. Gentlemen! Start your engine! That you and Prince all seven. Yes, sir. Cars have fired and getting set to roll off. You know, folks, it was 10 years ago at the age of 13 that a young man made a name for himself in a small oval in the desert outside of Las Vegas. Tonight, that driver, now 23 years of age, tries to make a name for himself on his way, possibly to a nationwide championship. Kyle Bush, our in-race reporter, will talk with him when we come back. Gotta make him wanna, gotta make him wanna, gotta make him wanna come. 